Okay, so far everything on here should be straightforward. The only tricky part I see is trying to figure out this dimension here. Because if we just create a line that's at 60 and then we do a fillet, it's going to actually recess into our line at 60. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to start at this point, and I don't know how exact this, how long this line is, so what I'm going to do is just create a line that goes over, then I'll come down 75, and then I'll come over 60. And from this point, I should be able to construct my arc that's located here at the bottom with the radius of 30, and it also gives me the angle of 45. Okay, so I'll start a line, this location. I want to make sure that line is going horizontal, so I'll select ortho, go in this direction, and it doesn't really matter how far you make that line, let's make it somewhere around 25. Let's go down 75. Then let's come back to the right a distance of 60, and then I'll stop there. I should have actually made this line a little bit longer than 25, so I want you to select that line, grab the grip, drag it this direction, and then let's type in 100. Escape. So what I'm going to do is conduct um, or complete my two fillets that I can create. So fillet, radius, 25, enter, and then let's do this fillet here along the top. Let's go back to the fillet command, radius, 20, enter, and then we can do the radius here at the bottom. Then escape. So I do know the distance from this line to that end point is at 60, and I have to maintain that. What I'm going to use is I'm going to create an arc. And then what information do I know? Do I know where it starts? I do. Do I know the center? And in this case, I actually do know the center as well, and I know the angle. So that looks like a really good choice to use. So let's use arc, start, center, angle. The start point will be at this end point. The center of this one, if you just touch this end point here at the bottom, you're going to get a little green plus, and you can see I got the tracking coming off of it. Once I have that green tracking, at distance that I need to go up is 30. So type in 30. And now you're going to see that AutoCAD will ask you for an angle. Type in 45 and then enter. The next thing I need to do is create a line here that's at 45 degrees. One easy way of doing that is use polar tracking. So first I want to make sure I'm on the 45 degrees. And then the next thing I need to do is activate the polar tracking by selecting this icon. Line. Click on this endpoint. And then you're going to get the tracking out this direction. As long as I have this line somewhere up in this direction, let's go ahead and type in 60. Enter. And escape. Let's go back to the fillet command. Choose radius. 15. Enter, then select this line, and then this line. And now you have your shape that you want it completed. Thank you for watching.